Hello, everybody. So now this is the right time for clapping because here we start the eighth Congress of Young Europeans. <laughs> Thank you all very much for being here. Looking forward to discuss all these ideas with you. We have people from 31 countries here in Thessaloniki. Thessaloniki is a, it's a city of young people, and I really want to see your ideas about all these challenges that we face. I put a we, I'm not that young as you. <laughs> but we still <laughs> face many of common challenges. So uh, let's welcome on the floor Michalis Gulvis, is the director of the Henry Ball Stiftung office here in Thessaloniki. Thank you very much. Thank you for making it to Greece back <laughs> safe. I'm really happy to see you. And uh, I'm really happy to welcome everybody uh, again. Uh, I'm really excited for today. Yesterday was an amazing day with all of you from the morning till late in the evening. So I'm really hoping that we will have uh, an equally exciting and uh, stimulating day today. I don't want to say much. Uh, the rest of the opening statements will be much more to the point. I just wanted to welcome you again to our city. Uh, you see the, the weather is amazing. You, today you will experience a different city. A marathon will be also taking place. You will see a lot of things and you will get the chance to also get a proper introduction to what Thessaloniki is. A city that is hosting the Congress of Young Europeans for the second time. It hosted it back in 2014 as the European Youth Capital back then. And now we thought it was also a good location, probably the best location to relaunch. Uh, this Congress uh, in a city that really is confronted directly with this challenge of independent living, especially on its aspect of access to affordable housing. We will have adequate time, I, uh, I hope, to discuss all challenges that we have put forward in the program, but most importantly, the challenges that are in your heads, and we're expecting you to feel safe enough and share it with all of us here and to, to discuss it all together. So I'm wishing all of us uh, an interesting open forum today, and uh, yeah, I'm giving the floor to the rest of the crowd. Thanks a lot. So let's welcome Jan Philip Albert, the co-chair of Henry Bell Stiftung, to say a few words, please. Thank you very much and to welcome to everybody. Uh, I'm so happy that we have the opportunity to have this European News Conference here in Thessaloniki. Also, after we had to pause it in the recent years due to the pandemic and it's good to be back in uh, exchanging between uh, young people on very important issues like the one which we are having here at this conference and I'm very happy to see so many of you uh, being with us and um, doing what is really needed to get in dialogue um, with each other and to get engaged also with each other uh, and with the issues uh, and the challenges ahead and uh, to really address the issues uh, on our own uh, with the uh, young people affected mostly and also with those who um, really have to mingle in creating the future uh, on their own. That's what we want to do. That's also at the core of what we do at the Heinrich Böll Stiftung, uh, a German political foundation, a green political foundation, but um, European-wide active, globally active, uh, really a network of many people coming together, also many partners we are working together with. So you will find a lot of people around uh, also globally who work with us. And when I traveled here yesterday from Berlin, I was sitting with... Uh, uh, a person working for the green uh, regional uh, government uh, representations who's actually running the marathon today. So uh, I guess you will also experience that um, the world is somehow small. We will cross uh, each other's roads again and again. And I hope that this is a very important crossing point for you between each other that you will meet each other also again and again, and that you will see that those events are the core of what we call democracy. And uh, that is also exactly what we want to create as foundation. And we are doing that at many places. We are trying to do it with the youth, youth conferences uh, on many places, and we're happy to be in this beautiful city here today, and also you were yesterday. 
and I'm very thankful for uh, Michalis uh, Goodis and the whole team for organizing this event and also for the Federation of Young European uh, Greens and the Green European Foundation to be with us on that and also our Greek partners. I have to look it up. I'm not uh, familiar with it. So Action Aid Hellas and Infinity Greece, thank you very much for being with us and cooperating with us on this conference. Um, having said that, uh, I'm happy to get into the debate and uh, also uh, really touching on the core issues we are dealing with, also as a foundation, by the way. So uh, this is also a moment for us where we learn and take things with us, not only for our work here in Greece uh, and uh, in, even in Europe, but also for our global engagement as a foundation. Thank you very much for being here. Let's give the floor to Emily Schenk, your executive committee member of the Federation of Young Europeans. Thank you and good morning, everyone. Welcome, welcome to Thessaloniki and welcome to the Congress of Young Europeans. I'm very excited to be here. Uh, we as Young European Greens, I'd say we can see this as an opportunity looking towards uh, next year already because at the Young European Greens we are very much focusing on the European elections coming up and excuse my blunt words if I may use them but this is uh, how we've been talking about it at the Young European Greens. We're looking towards the European elections because it's our fucking future that we're talking about here. Today, we want to talk about independence, and independence, that's also a form of freedom. And as ex executive committee member of the Young European Greens, um, a large share of what I do is being in touch with young Europeans and young people all over Europe. And what we can see there is that, is that the, one of the most central aspects that's restricting our freedom is the climate crisis. When we look back on this year, on this summer, 2023 was the hottest summer any one of us ever lived through. It was the hottest summer ever recorded. And if we look at it from the other side, it's the coldest summer we're probably going to have for the next century or so. Having said that, and looking back also at the, um, at the headlines that we've had and at the wildfires here in Greece, this is really restricting our freedom. And so I invite you to use this Congress here to formulate your demands, your positions to the political Europe, to work towards a Europe where we can all live in freedom, and to break the cycle of climate destruction and build the Europe that we deserve. So welcome also Alessio Giuzani, Deputy Editor-in-Chief, Green European Journal. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Michalis. And thank you to the whole team of the, the Saloniki office of Heinrich Böll. Um, I'm really happy, so I thank you on behalf of myself first, but also on behalf of the Green European Journal and the Green European Foundation in Brussels, which I'm really, really happy to be representing here. So for those who don't know, the Green European Foundation is one of 10 um, political foundation at the European level. Um, it does its work mostly through political education and training, as well as stimulating Europe-wide debate. It does so through a lot of partners, such as the Böll Foundation, uh, with which the relationship is really strong and historical, but at the same time is always subject to renewal, to new projects and to new ideas. Of course, it is very small. The Green European Foundation and the Green European Journal is very small, compared to the size of the European territory and also the size of the challenges that lie ahead of us. But we really like to think of ourselves as connectors and enablers, seeding new ideas that can then blossom. And I really think events like the one we are here for in these days um, are both a harvesting season of ideas, but they are also a sowing season where we can really build the basis for new networks and new communities. Um, so yeah, thank you very much again. On a practical note, 
As you might have seen, right outside of this conference room, there is a stand with uh, Green European Journal copies. They're up for grab for free. And I will be around throughout the day, so if you would like to know more about the work that the Green European Journal does, feel free to reach out and I will be very happy to talk about it. And as well, since we talked yesterday about representation having to be more than just, uh, so to speak, youth washing, if some of you is a writer or an aspiring writer and would like to submit an idea or a pitch for writing an article, feel free to reach out. Thank you very much, and I'm really looking forward for the debate. Thank you.